Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a consistent character like Ethan. This will be a two part video. In first part, we will design the character and learn how to add emotions. In second part, we will create scene by blending images. Okay, so let's go to mid journey and start creating our character. The initial prompt which I'm going to use is this one. You can have a look. We'll go to mid journey now. We'll type slash imagine prompt. We'll give our prompt and hit enter. So we have the first set of character ready. So I'll go ahead and upscale this one second and let's see. Upscale two. If you don't like the character which is generated, you can re-roll it until you get the desired character. So let's wait for the upscaling of the second image. So this is the upscale version of the image. Let's open it in new tab and see. So to save time, I have generated few more characters. So let's have a look at them as well. So this is the second set of character and this is the third one. So third one is the one I like the most. I'll be using this for our next steps. Next step is to enhance the quality of the image which we have downloaded. So for that we will use this upscale.media. Click on this upload image and import. Once you import the image, you will see that it is upscaling it by 2x. Here you have an option to select 4x. Once the upscaling is done, we will use Photopea to cut out the single character. So let's see how we can do this. Let's import the file in the Photopea. You can go to select option, remove background, select this crop tool and crop out single character. Click on this, enter. Once you have this character, you can go to file, export as PNG. And click on this save option. Repeat this for all the characters. Once our character is ready, let's get back to mid journey and upload all the files here. Go ahead, select all the files and click on open, click enter. Once the file is uploaded, what you can do is click on this, open in browser, repeat the same for all other pictures. So now I have opened all the five images in the browser. What we have to do is copy this URL and keep it safe. To create multiple character, we need to first copy all the link which we have taken from the mid journey, like for the first, second, third, fourth and fifth image. And we have to make some adjustment in our initial prompt. So instead of multiple expression and poses, I have written running away, running side profile, wide angle sort. So let's take this and run it in mid journey. So in mid journey, provide your prompt. So we have link for all the five images. After that, happy little boy character running away, running side profile, wide angle sort. So our result is ready. So the side profile of running character is here. So let's open it in new tab and check out. So you can see by adding all the five images, we are able to create a character which looks like running and the angle side is from the side view. This time we will create an angry character. So we will update our prompt little bit more. So here I am writing angry face, raised eyebrow, front angle sort and the rest of the prompt will remain the same and I have changed the aspect ratio to 2 is to 3. So let's take this and run in mid journey. So I'm going to give the prompt once again and hit enter and let's wait for the result. Our angry character is ready. Let's have a look. Let's go ahead and try something else. This time we will go for a smiling face. So here you can see I have changed the prompt little bit. A smiling face, relaxed eyebrow, smiling lips, front angle sort. So let's take this and run in mid journey. So let's try and create our smiling character. We'll wait for the results. So a smiling character is ready. Let's have a look how it has come. So we can see here, this is happy face. In today's video, we have designed a character with consistent features and added accents like walking, emotions like smiling and anger. And stay tuned for the second part of the tutorial where I will blend multiple images to create a scene that can be used in children's book. Thank you. If you found this tutorial helpful and informative, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel.
If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.